Welcome back and happy holidays, I guess, technically still. I'm doing my annual what I got for Christmas slash birthday because my birthday is two days after Christmas, so it's all kind of combined. And honestly, this year, like, I think we actually wrapped all my birthday presents for Christmas, so I opened them all at the same time. You guys asked for it, so here it is. I guess I'll start with like the basic stuff. A lot of times for Christmas, we do more practical Christmases where it's more things that we like need. Toothbrushes <laughs> and loofahs, um, which honestly I enjoy because you're not just getting like things that you use once and then don't ever use again. Like we all know that one present that we get where you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Sometimes my dad gives us gifts like that. This year I didn't get one, but I know the twins got bobbleheads of him as a Superman. So I think that is definitely the definition of one of those gifts. Old Spice, if you are not using Old Spice, you need to. Right? Right now. Like, I know it's technically guy's deodorant, technically, but it works so much better than any other deodorant. I don't, this is a new scent for me. Bear Glove, I think I usually do the thorn one. And then on top of that, um, just some chapstick, Burt's Bees. I don't know why, but like, <laughs> anytime I hear Burt's Bees, I laugh. Um, because one time I was at a convention and I was with my friend, <laughs> and Burt's Bees had like a booth there and they had like little honey sticks. It's kind of like a little tube full of honey. And for breakfast, we just happened to get honey Honey Nut Cheerios, but my friend went and got a little like honey stick and was trying to put the honey into her cereal and she actually like her hand slipped and she smacked the bowl of cereal and it went everywhere in the middle of this convention where like speakers were like speaking. Everybody just turned and looked at her and she was so embarrassed. So I helped her clean it up. She went and got another honey stick. She does it again and she smacks the bowl again and it goes everywhere. So I don't know, like Burt's Bees, I always just laugh when I hear it because of that story, but I'm sure it is great chapstick. <laughs> Side story. Um, next. Oh, here's another kind of useful thing. A new razor. Uh, this is my first time using the Flamingos, but I'm hearing really good things about them. Apparently, like, there's a razor brand for men that's called, like, Harry's or something. Yeah, Harry's. So this is, like, the female version of that. Um, but I don't know. It has, like, shower clip, so I'm excited for it. It just looks clean. It looks nice. Life cereal. <laughs> Every single year we get this. And y'all know how much we love it because when we went on tour in 2017, I think, like, every single person bought us a box of this and literally our tour bus was full of cereal boxes and it got to the point where we literally just drove it to like a donation center and donated it all because we had like thousands of boxes of live cereal but still we love live cereal is literally our favorite and we only get it for Christmas and tour apparently <laughs> so we played a game this year where you kind of like you have like a ball full of stuff but it's like in saran wrap and you have to like try to get it with oven mitts <laughs> it's just like really hard but it's like kind of time you in a circle anyway so I happened to get what I wanted I wanted these so bad I got car air fresheners and I know that sounds really stupid because there was like gift cards and good stuff in there but I wanted the car air fresheners I got one of these last year actually in the same game and literally people were like they'd get in my car and they'd be like your car smells like fruit snacks and they were like it smells so good so I really wanted these these aren't gonna smell like fruit snacks this year though because they're forest but I love a clean car so anything that helps with that, I will take it. I guess I'll go like on the tangent of car stuff. Um, we do a sibling gift every single year. So basically we do we like draw and whoever you get, you get a gift for. I got, oh, I got Paisley and I got her some like doll clothes for her doll that she got. Rylan had me and she literally called me and she's like, I'm gonna be your favorite sibling because of this gift. And I was like, what is it? She's like, I'm not gonna tell you, but it's the best present you'll ever get. So I was like really excited to open this one. And she actually did a really good job. I don't know how she found it, but the twins and I were freaking out. So she got LED like car lights, kind of. Not like car lights, you know, TikTok <laughs> and like the lights everybody has in their room. It's that for your car. So it's like, it's like colorful. I don't, I, I need to set it up in my car, but that's kind of like what it looks like. But it has the remote and it changes colors and it can change to like your music. And I think it's so cool. And it, I was just laughing because I was like, how did she find the TikTok room lights for your car? And it's like for a Jeep too. So she really put a lot of thought into this and it is a really good gift. So I'm excited to set it up. It's ones that are gonna have fun with this. And we're going on a road trip this week. So this will be a fun add to that. My mom does like a lot of practical shopping. She's the one who does like all the razors and things like that. My dad goes for more gag gifts. He got us all LED Christmas light bulb phone chargers. <laughs> Christmas is over. So maybe I'll just hold on to this one for next year. But I wanna open it and show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> I wonder if this even works. Like, you know, it's like a phone charger. <laughs> but I guess it lights up. That's actually kinda cool. 
And he also got me in a work gift exchange that we had. He drew me for Secret Santa and he got me um, carpool karaoke. I don't know how exactly this works. Like I know how carpool karaoke works, but I don't know what this does. It says something about like Bluetoothing to your phone and then to the mic and then, oh, to the radio station. Oh. We'll see. If you guys know how this works, comment down below because I might need some help trying to figure out what to do with this. We'll see. That one's fun. So I have the lights and the carpool karaoke, so my car is going to be a party this year. All right, and kind of similar to the Life cereal, every single year we get a Martinelli, basically just sparkling cider. Christmas tradition. I don't know why we love these so much, but the twins and I love these, and every time we go there we have to get one. They're like 25 cents. I don't know. It's just something that we kind of did as kids, so we do it now. But we love the butterscotch flavor. They last for Ever too. Like this sucker will probably lasts like an hour. I don't know how, but very good. All right, so from one of my grandmas, uh, she makes homemade ornaments and she's done it every single year of her entire life. She makes each of us our own ornament for like that year, that Christmas year. So this is the one that she made this year. It's so cute, I love this year's. Texas with home. And then on the back it says Camry 2019. So yeah, she's done it every single year. That was her present. And then she also just gave me an Amazon gift card. I love Amazon gift cards. So practical. You can buy anything you want with it. And I use Amazon all the time. And then my other grandma, she gave us, she, I didn't realize she gave us a Sonic gift card. She visited just a couple weeks ago and we always go to Sonic just because we love their drinks. So she's probably thinking that. But also while she was here, she brought pickup sticks and jacks and she taught us how to play. The twins and I played when we were younger, um, but our younger siblings didn't know how to play. So she taught us how to play and we were playing jacks and pickup sticks so she got me jacks and it's uh super cool i love the box it just looks like super old-fashioned it looks just so cute it's so small but if you guys don't know how to play jacks it's super fun um kind of an old-fashioned game it's super entertaining and my other grandma she does this every single year because we love it so much she gives us these chocolates Anytime she comes to visit, like she has to bring these because we eat all of them. Um, but I don't even know why. They're just like random like Utah truffles. That's what they're called. But we love the mint ones. We live by these. Like Bailey got like two bags of these for Christmas. <laughs> Utah truffles, she does this every single year. And then she also gives us um, $25, which again, I will use this. So this is a Mophie charger, uh, but it's not like the phone case one. It's just like the external power bank. And this is because on all of our trips this year, my dad has one of these and literally every single one one of us was using his to the point where like we would all use it and then it would die and then when he knitted it he like wouldn't have it so my dad bought us all our own charger this year and he's like you can't use mine anymore and I skipped because we have some exciting trips coming up next year one of like my favorite Christmas presents is like kind of random but Bailey and I literally we've been in we've been using them like so much this is from YouTube um, YouTube gives some creators Christmas gifts every single every single year so this year we got one for pretty much all of us they were kind of like travel kits and the main item in them where I don't even know what it is to be honest, but it's like this giant robe thing, but it's like a sweatshirt It's just so comfortable. I'm not kidding. Bailey and I have been in these things all day long. It's huge <laughs> But it's so comfortable. It's like a giant blanket, but it's on your arms, too But literally I'm not kidding at first. I was like, oh, that's like kind of like weird Like what but then the like oversized sweatshirts this year for Christmas I'm pretty sure every single person that I know has gotten one. It's like a big trend right now, but this like one one ups that. This is a whole new level and it is wonderful. And now this is honestly one of probably my favorite Christmas gifts. It's like something pretty small. It's <laughs> flashcards. It's not small like though because on the inside there is um, family pictures from pretty much the past century of my extended family. And this is from my grandpa. So he's kind of made it like his legacy to give us all of our family pictures. But he does it in a way that's so cute. He sends us all. He has like this mass email list and every single day he picks a picture and he writes up like the story behind it and he sends it every single day. I'm not kidding, he hasn't missed a day. And it's super cute um, and we love it so much just because we get to know so much more about our ancestors. So one of them has pictures pretty much, um, they're sorted by a decade, but they go back to like the 1920s, I wanna say, and it's super cool. Like literally I can look at them and look at pictures of like my great, 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 great grandparents, which is super cool. And then this picture, or this, this disc has um, pictures from pretty much my mom's entire life. So it's all my aunts, everything, like their Halloween costumes, costumes or trips they went camping a lot and there's some really really cool pictures on them and as a photographer like I love looking at them and it's super cool because he shot on film and my grandpa was a good photographer especially because he traveled a lot like there's some really cool things and I just love looking at the clothes so cool my mom's outfits were all like I could wear 
them right now. Plus, she just looks so much like Brooklyn. It's kind of creepy. I thought that was super cool and honestly, just such a good gift. Going off the camera photography thing, I asked for a new, not a new, but a film camera. I wanted one that was a little bit more digital and one that had flash. So my mom did some extensive research. She found the one that her and my dad used when we were kids. So this is a Canon Rebel 2000. And now the Rebels are actually DSLRs. Cause I was like, are you sure this is film? Cause Rebels are DSLR. She's like, no, no, that's film. It's just like vintage. Like this is the actual box and packaging and everything. So this is the camera. So I thought this was super cool. Okay, and then kind of like my big gift for my birthday and Christmas combined um, was something that I've been asking for because I'm going to college next year. Or no, wait, well, you wait. Yeah, I'm getting confused with like the turn of the century. Decade, not century. I'm just confused in general. I'm going to college fall of 2020. There you go. And so I love handwriting notes, um, but I hate like that it's not digital when I handwrite notes on paper. So I've been uh, looking into the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and I've been using it and I love it so much. It is literally just what I wanted, just what I needed for all my note taking, especially because I love like doing like diagrams and things like that. This is just so much more efficient. So, so, so nice. Something that I really like. That was kind of my big present this year for my birthday and Christmas. But I have one more. That was my mom's Christmas miracle, she kept saying. And it honestly, it is a Christmas miracle. So I'm gonna go get it really fast. Okay. <laughs> this <laughs> is the Christmas miracle. So I think it was two years ago. Um, our family went on a cruise over Christmas and one of the stops was in Curacao. So <laughs> naturally, we went and got ice cream at just some random ice cream store that we found there. Brooklyn and I, <laughs> we got brownie s'more ice cream and it was the best ice cream I have ever had. And I'm not exaggerating. Like literally, I went back four times that day and we were like, it's okay. Like we'll just take a picture of the company and when we get back to the US, we'll find it online, whatever except we could not find it online anywhere. Like they wouldn't sell it, they didn't sell it in any local ice cream stores, nothing like that. So they had a website, but like in order to buy it, you had to be an ice cream store. I don't know, it's like really weird. My mom DM'd them and she goes, hey there, please help make some Christmas dreams come true. We took my daughters to Curacao a year ago and ate some Kemp's brownie ice, s'more ice cream. They died over it and said it was the best ice cream they'd ever eaten. It, it literally is. Ever since then, we have tried to find it everywhere, but we can't seem to find it. Um, and they reply back and they said, hi, we'd love to help out with this Christmas miracle. Such a tasty flavor, they have such great taste. What's the best address? And they sent us the three gallon ice cream container. <laughs> this, this is my favorite ice cream ever. And I have three gallons of it. It is literally, when Brooklyn and I saw it, we died on Christmas morning. I am, I'm not kidding. Brownie s'more ice cream, like you'll never taste anything like it. It is heaven. Really good Christmas gift, it's amazing. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. And just a reminder that Christmas isn't really about all these gifts. I know it's definitely a highlight and something we all look forward to, but Christmas is really just about family and spending time with people you love and eating ice cream. I don't know about you, but that's definitely something I'm going to be doing this year. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. And uh, this is the first video of this decade. See you guys this year. <laughs> Bye.